So Morphology Trace is kind of jack of all trades for architecture and interior design, but there are certain things that it doesn't do very well, like coloring, brush customization, and tonal adjustment. This is why I go to Procreate for more artistic finishing touches. And in this example, I will show you my workflow on how I bring a Morphodo Trace interior elevation into Procreate to add in color, make tonal adjustments, and show different design options. By the way, if you are interested in seeing more of my design process on Lightpath, I have a free three-part workshop that you can sign up for today. The workshop are perfect if you are considering moving to a digital workflow that will save you time, allow you to work smarter and faster, and free you from a traditional office environment. I'll show you real-world examples with different applications on how I use my iPad for architectural and interior design work. You can click this link above or find it in the video description below. So this is the workaround. Let's imagine in Morphodo Trace, you have already designed these interior elevations based on a cat drawing that I have at the last layer. So this is the drawing that I started with, and this is the finished design. Before I export this, let's go ahead and turn off this background layer so we don't get that faint cat lines. So now I'm ready to export. Let's go ahead and export. And uh, we want to export this as an image with the best quality so that when we save it to the gallery, we can import it into Procreate with the highest quality. Now click continue. And now in here, I want you to just pay attention to these couple of things. Uh, we're exporting to ArcD 24 by 36 inch, which is the size of this paper as by default. The print scale is at half an inch and because the, the drawings are basically in half an inch and we are going to just export this current layer uh, that being checked on. Now let's go ahead and export this and instead of airdropping into the computer, I'm just going to save it as an image and this is going to save it into my gallery uh, photos. So as you can see here, my most recent photo is this photo and uh, we're going to bring this into Procreate and I'll show you that process now. So let's go ahead and fire up Procreate. Now with this loaded in, I'm going to walk you through what the coloring process and overlaying a different design option is. So you see in here that the background layer is on by default. It's a white background and once you load this in, this layer is going to come in as opaque layer as well. So it's not going to be a PNG file. This is actually a solid background. And that's fine. I'll show you how to overlay color even with a solid background without the transparency. So this is the finished drawing. I want to show you just the structure so that you understand how this worked. So what I did was in a new folder I created, I put in this base drawing that we exported from Morfolio Trace. And what you'll see in here is the only thing that's different is the blending mode. So from a default blending mode of normal, the only thing I have to change now is to make it into a multiply. So simply by changing the blending mode into multiply, what that's going to do is it's going to make all the line work, the black, the red line work on this layer show up on the layer below without the white background. So let's go ahead and minimize this folder. So in this folder, this is where I begin to color on individual layers to the kind of materiality. And I'll show you just by checking this off. So the cabinet is on a layer, the wood is on a layer, the tile, countertop, appliance, glass, entourage they all live on their own layer. And the reason for that is if I wanted to tweak their hue or saturation or, or contrast, or even just change the color completely, I have a lot of flexibility if I made them into separate layers. So now this is the basic way to add in color or to apply color to the existing black and white drawing. You'll also see on top of this base folder, there are two additional folders and these are drawings that are one is for the island that goes in front of the kitchen. So this elevation is showing the view without the island in front of it. And I want to be able to present both is just to show the island in front of it and then a view without the island. So by toggling on this island folder, you'll see that the only thing that will change in here is having this island drawing in front of it. And if we open up this island drawing, 
you'll see the makeup is actually really easy. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna turn off my base and the color. So in here, what you'll see is the line weight also exported from Morpholio Trace, but only lives on one individual layer. And you will also see that this is put on the multiply blending mode. And below that lives the color. And this is the same color that we use very often with my Copic marker brush, which you can get in the link below. And below that layer is a solid layer. Now this, you might be asking why there's a solid layer behind the color layer, because the color layer, the Copic marker has some transparency to it. So to avoid the color being mixed with the drawings below, what I did was I putting a solid color so that this is not going to bleed into other layers. So I did this for the kitchen, for the color, and you can use the same approach if you have an area in your design where you might just wanna show a different design option like this. So we have a design option where we're showing the couch at the end of the counter. We also have a different idea for having a taller cabinetry that kind of bookends this elevation as well. So just by drawing this on a different layer in Morpholio Trace and exporting it as a layer similar to the island, uh, we can very easily draw this and color it in, in the similar fashion as we have with the island example. So here I'm showing you the colors that lives on this uh, folder in the bookend, the color for the cabinet, and then the solid layer that lives down below. So you can see where this can be very creative and you can have many different options that live in this one document and you can add in colors. Just make sure that you do it the best you can to make the colors live on their own layers. This way you have more flexibility if you need to edit things. And let's imagine also, if you have a drawing that's being updated in Morpholio Trace, it's simply as re-exporting the background layer as a JPEG and recolor, bring it into Procreate and recolor. So I know there's a little bit back and forth, but the coloring process and then just the type of quality of work, I just love it much more to be in Procreate than to do this in Morpholio Trace. So that's just my workflow. If you are more in tune with the kind of artistic feeling that you can get with Procreate. This is a short hack that I've used in the past and allows you to integrate the two app a little bit more than what you can do with Morpholio Trace by itself. I hope you enjoy this. I'd love to hear what you think of this little integration that I've discovered. To learn more about coloring techniques on Procreate, click here to watch this video.